What's going on everybody man? It's Touch of Trent with Internet Money Man and I'm back again with another video. And I know what y'all thinking, bro. I know y'all like, man, this dude, he been wearing the same hoodie for like three, four videos straight. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I done sat here pretty much the past like couple hours and I just been making making videos for y'all, just doing them back to back to back. But anyways, I seen somebody say down in the comments, uh, actually I'll put the screenshot like right here. Uh, he wanted like a uh, like a stock mixing and mastering um, tutorial. So I'm gonna just go through all of these uh, sounds and stuff like that, and like I'm gonna mix it the way that I usually mix, and I'm not gonna use no third party plugins or nothing. I'm gonna just use all stock, and y'all can just kind of see that mixing, man. All it is is just leveling. And like I I see this all the time. People just ask like, yo, how do you mix and master it, bro? It just comes down to leveling. Like it's just as simple as that. And so I'm gonna go through and I'll kind of you know cut in and like I'll you know tell you what I'm doing and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So with that being said, man, make sure you go follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. Go follow me or subscribe to me on Twitch. And with that being said, man, let's get into the video. For this first sound just the melody i'm gonna play the melody and then um while it's playing or whatever i'm gonna like eq it with you know the parametric eq you know the stock uh eq so here we go So nine times out of ten, man, that's the first thing I do whenever I like drag a loop into the uh, into the playlist, whatever. The first thing I do is EQ it. So I'll go into the parametric EQ over here, and I'll EQ it. And nine times out of ten, for real, for real, it'd be like right here at like the two hundred mark is where typically I'll stop at, or I might go like a little over. But most of the time, I just pretty much stop right here, and like I don't even be looking at numbers, bro. I don't look at like. You know, people be like, stop it at three, 3,000 hertz. Like, okay, bro, I don't care. Whatever. Like, I'm going to just EQ it until I feel like it's right. Just use your ears. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Um, until, you know, you get your low frequencies out of the melody so it doesn't clash with, you know, your 808 or your kick and stuff like that. And then it makes a muddy mix. So uh, just EQ out the lows of your melody and then uh, just turn it down. I mean... You know, some people come in here and turn it down or, you know, they'll come in here and, you know, turn it down. I just drop mine down until I feel like um, it sounds right. And once again, just use your ears. Um, and then, man, just as far as like drums and stuff, I don't I don't put I don't EQ none of my drums at all. It's just all about using using good samples, finding good samples and stuff like that. Wavesupply.net. We all have great drum kits that you don't even have to EQ or nothing. They're all ready to go. You just drag and drop and use them. You don't need to do no EQing and doing all that. Like, just doing the most. You don't have to do all that. Just drag, boom. Make your patterns. Cool. Now, next comes leveling. Now, leveling is making sounds um, fit together. Not having, you know, one sound louder than the other or you know, one sound lower uh, and it needs to be higher. It's just all about getting, you know, the right levels and stuff like that. Yeah, so like leveling is just pretty much, you know, just getting all like the sounds right. Um, not having one sound too high, not having, uh, you know, one sound too low. You know, it all just fits together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play all the drums uh, all together and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you um, how I level all of my drums and how, um, it'll fit when I, you know, put the melody back on. So with that being said, let's get it.
So as you can see, there's no like effects or anything on any of these sounds. It's all just regular, nothing. You know what I'm saying? All I did was use a parametric EQ on the melody, and that's it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just really simple. It, it really just comes down to leveling and making all the sounds fit. Uh, and then I know y'all wanted to see, like, the master stuff um, for, you know, stock um, plugins or whatever. Um, I don't even use a limiter. Um when I, I'm making the beat. I know like a lot of people do, I think. Um, but I personally don't do that. I just leave it off. And then when I'm about to, you know, master the beat or whatever to, you know, make it louder, I'll throw the limiter on. So um, for stock stuff, you could just use Fruity Limiter and uh, I'll show you how, how I do mine. So there you have it. Um, all I do is I turn all three of these down, these three envelope knobs, I turn all of those down and then I'll bring the loudness um, down until like it hits like these little peaks at the top. Uh, I know like a lot of people do it differently. You know, I see some people, you know, turn the gain up. Um, you know, there's just different ways to do it, but you just have to experiment and do, you know, whatever, you know, you're comfortable with or whatever you like. You know, this is just the way that I do it. Um, and so that's pretty much it for that right there. And then um, you could come in here and use Fruity uh, Multiband Compressor and come into Presets and go to Mastering 2.4 dB um, and then play the beat. And then you can go in and kind of turn the gain up um, until it gets to uh, you know a volume that sounds good. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's it. I mean, that's that's pretty much how I would do it if I didn't have third party plugins uh, or anything like that on my master. I would just use a fruity limiter uh, and the fruity multiband compressor. Go to the preset um, mastering 2.4 dB and then just turn it up until it gets to a, you know, just a, a point where you like it and it sounds good. Um, don't over compress it. You know what I'm saying? Don't turn it up too much to where your beat just sounds squashed and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this video, man. It's pretty short and sweet and it's not complicated at all, man. It just comes down to leveling and using good samples. Um, Wavesupply.net, go get those drum kits on there. I'm telling you, you don't have to EQ none of those drums. You just plug them in, make your patterns and then level them right and you're good. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something from it. Um, let me know down in the comments, man, what else that you want to see. Um, I do read the comments and stuff like that. So I'm always looking for, you know, ideas, you know, for videos and stuff like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all in the next video.